Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How much does a probate lawyer cost? When someone passes away, their estate goes through probate. It's a legal process to settle debts and distribute assets. Now, who guides you through this legal labyrinth? A probate lawyer. But let's talk dollars and cents. How much will hiring one set you back? Probate lawyers can charge in various ways. Some might bill you a flat fee. Others prefer an hourly rate. And a few might charge a percentage of the estate's value. It's like picking a payment plan for your legal peace of mind. The complexity of the estate can sway the cost. A simple estate with no disputes? That'll be easier on your wallet. A sprawling estate with legal hurdles? That might require a thicker stack of bills. Location also plays a part. Practicing law in the big city? That might come with a bigger price tag. Operating in a small town? You might catch a financial break. It's all about that local economic landscape. Don't forget, experience counts. A seasoned probate lawyer may cost more. But think of it as investing in a smoother probate process. It's like choosing a pilot with more flying hours. Now let's shift gears to another department that deals with legal matters. Probation departments, probation departments are the unsung heroes of the justice system. They supervise those who've been handed a second chance. No capes, just a lot of responsibility. These departments work to keep communities safe. How? By ensuring that probationers stick to their court-ordered guidelines. It's like being the referees of real life. They also provide resources to help probationers get back on track. Think of them as coaches for legal life skills. They're in the business of turning lives around. Probation officers often work with other agencies. They're like the connectors in a vast network of support services. Collaboration is their middle name. It's all about prevention with these departments. They aim to reduce recidivism. That means fewer repeat offenders and safer neighborhoods. It's a win-win. Remember, the goal is rehabilitation, not punishment. Probation departments focus on positive change. They're cheering for success stories, not waiting for slip-ups. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.